Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with it, this mini Pringles can. I get these for my son for snacks. I'm going to start painting it with the color Vintage White. And I'm just going to do one quick coat with a paintbrush all the way around. And then I'm going to take my sponge pouncer and finish painting it that way. So I just got this quick base coat on there. And then I'm going to start using this sponge pouncer and pounce on the rest of the Vintage White paint. And I went all the way around and I ended up doing two coats to make sure that it was fully covered drying in between coats. Once I have that all painted, I'm going to take some sand and pour that right in there. And then I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to glue around the rim. And then I'm going to put that cover on that came with it. And that way there, this has some weight and it won't fall over. Once I have that all glued on, I'm going to take a sweater that I got from a thrift store and I'm going to cut off the sleeve so I'm just going to use the sleeve on this one so I'm going to figure out about how long I want it by pulling it over and seeing where I want it and I'm just going to fold the cuff over and then I'm just going to hold it up and kind of cut it where I want it for the length that I wanted and then I'm going to take that area there and I'm going to fill that with some fiber fill and then I'm just going to gather the top pushing all that fiber fill into where I want, getting the cuff on the hat where I want it. And then I'm gonna take a piece of ticking fabric. I'm gonna use that to tie off the top. So I'm just going to grab that and tie it into a knot and then cut off the excess. And now he has a hat. I'm gonna arrange the little top pom-pom area. And there is the hat all set. Once I have the hat all on there, I'm going to start painting the snowman's face. I took a paintbrush, I dipped the handle in some black paint, and I'm going to use that to dot two eyes. Then I'm going to take some pink paint, and I'm going to paint the cheeks. So I'm just going to use that on a paintbrush and dry brush some pink on those cheeks. Then I'm going to take the back side of the paintbrush and do some dots for his mouth. Then I'm going to take uh, some orange paint and paint the nose. So I'm just going to do like a half of a teardrop sideways and then just fill that in. Then I'm going to give him a couple of eyebrows using a thin paintbrush and some black paint. I'm just going to add them right above the eyes. Then I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to put a white line on either side of the eyes. And then a dot in the center of the eyes. I just used a pencil for that. And now his face is all done. Next, I'm going to take some white paint and a thin paintbrush. And I'm just going to do some snowflakes all the way around the whole container. And you can just kind of put them randomly wherever you want. It's just crisscrossing lines and it's really hard to see on camera but they look really cute in person and it's just little extra details so once I have the snowflakes all on I'm gonna take the back side of a paintbrush and just kind of dab it in white paint and put little dots all over as snowflakes as well and you can just kind of arrange them however you want then I'm going to take a toothbrush, I'm going to dip that in some white paint, and then I'm going to splatter that all over the snowman too. And I just love all these little details. Next, I am going to take another piece of ticking fabric, and I'm going to use that as a scarf. The first piece I grabbed was a little too wide, and I couldn't see the snowman's mouth, so I'm just going to kind of cut that and then just pull it and rip that piece in half. Once I have that all ripped in half, I'm just going to wrap that around the bottom of the Pringles can and then just tie it off in a knot and then cut off the excess. And now he has a little scarf to match the little tie off on his head. I'm just going to kind of pull it down to meet the bottom. Make sure that that's tied tight. Then I'm going to take this greenery. And I am going to lay that on the right side of the hat. 
and then I had this rusty star and I'm going to add that right on top of the greenery. And that is it. This project is finished. I think this turned out so super cute. I absolutely love it. And then you'll never even know it's a Pringles can. And the way my son eats Pringles, I can make a hundred of these. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.